Hi, welcome to Penny's Crafty Creations. Thanks for joining me and taking time out of your day to hang out, chit chat, and craft and create with me. Today I have a Thrifty Thursday haul here, and it is from my local Salvation Army and my local Goodwill. I'm going to start with my Salvation Army. And I only picked a few things up at my Salvation Army, as well as my Goodwill. And the first thing was this thread. Um, it was 49 cents. It is from there. I needed some white thread and I thought for 49 cents I can give this a try. Not sure how well it's going to work, but I did buy backups um, at my local Joann's. And then I got um, these adhesive label holders. I've never seen these at my Dollar Tree until after I bought this. Um, I got this for 99 cents. So it worked out that I picked it up at my um, Salvation Army because my Dollar Tree when I went there yesterday is now a dollar twenty-five. But they are really cute, and I thought they would be great for doing swaps and projects. And it just peels right off the sheet, and you have just a little label, and it comes with the little label thing. So these are great for organizing and whatnot as well, which I really like that idea. And they now have them at my Dollar Tree. Never seen them before until I picked this one up. And then I got this from there as well. And it's two reusable drink pouches and two paper straws. And it was 49 cents. I've never seen these before, but I thought they were adorable. And I really liked that they are bags. So those are really great for projects. And then I got some doilies. And that is the one of them. That's one of them there. I'm gonna adjust my camera. Okay, so this is one, and it came with a smaller one, like that. And it's just really adorable. I'll hold it up a little bit so you can see them better. They're just so cute, and I can't wait to put these onto bags and whatnot. They did a really fantastic job with them. And these ones were 99 cents for the two piece set. I really love this one. It's so adorable and so intricate in their tatting. So I got that one. And then I picked up this one. And this one doesn't have a lot of detail, but I thought it was really pretty. It's got like a flower pattern in there. And this one was also 99 cents. So that's what I picked up at my Salvation Army. And then my Goodwill, they don't do bags. So everything has to be without a bag, which I keep forgetting to bring my bag. But the first thing I got was these for $1. And there are a lot of them. And I had stopped to see my friends and my family members that work there. And... Um, I browsed a little bit until I was able to see them and there is one, two, three, five embroidery hoops for 99 cents and they are all still brand new. They are from West Tex. So I thought for making my tags, these are the perfect height, um, especially when my tags can be long. Um, so they it will fit across every one of the ones here, which is good. So for a dollar, it was worth that. Then I got this bag here for three dollars, and it is stamp pads. I don't know if they work or not, but I thought that was pretty cool of all the different stamps that are in there. Oh, there are two stamping up ones. We have black, it looks like. Perfect plum. Then there is dozens of dots. Terrific stamps. I've never heard of that one. Stamp pad green personal stamp exchange. I've never heard of these either. And then we have red. Dusty Rose, and then this one here looks really pretty. Rainbow 
Harvest from Abra Cadabra. And it even has everything in it. So I'm not sure if they work or not. But I have a little post-it pad here. We can give it a try and see if it was worth the $3 or not. Well, this one here... I'm not sure. I mean, it's got some ink, but it's a, it's a different kind of ink pad. It's completely flat, so I don't know how that one would work. But let me grab something. Okay, so I decided I'm going to test it with an actual stamp, and I have my stamps here that I picked up at the Dollar Tree before they went to the Dollar Tree Bug. And I'm using this one here, and it will show us how well these really work, especially with all those fine little details. So it's a good time to check out this one and see how this one will work. There's not much ink coming off of it, so I might need to add a little bit of um, more liquid to this. Sometimes that helps. Oh, it actually it did work. And you get to see a little bit of the detail. So this one works that's good let's try the dusty rose the cover is not so great so i'm gonna have to clean that one up so this is dusty rose and I, i'm finding it, it's kind of doing the little rubbing but that might be me as well so dusty rose works check the green and again that cover needs to be cleaned up too so far we're doing really well so if I don't push too hard you can see the difference in them by not pushing too hard so so far I'm doing really well oh this one I'm not even gonna try that one is, you can see the ink is all over the place with that one. So that's not a good one. Let's try the blue. I'm going to flip these over. I'm just going to do a light touch. So if you don't get a lot of ink on them, the Dollar Tree stamps work pretty well. And then this is the stamping up one in the basic black, but it looks pretty dried out. I mean, it looks more brown than black. I don't know if I got any ink on this. It doesn't look like it picked up any ink. Yeah, the black one is dried out. But if I add some liquid to it, I think it will come back. I think maybe the same with the purple. Oh, no. Oh, that is a good one. Look how beautiful that came out. So that purple one is really nice. Now let's try this. I can't remember if I did the rainbow one already. I think I did, but I'm not 100% sure. So yeah, that one, it's not so rainbow, but they do work. I think if I add some water, maybe the black one might come back. Maybe, it might be completely out. of ink here. Give it another shot. Yeah, no, it's completely dried up. I have a barely of a stamp there. So it's not bad. I have got two that are not good, but for $3, I've got five workable ones. So that's pretty good. Thanks for watching my Thrifty Thursday. I do have a, another haul video coming up from a couple other stores. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.